Howdy, C Dub here. Join Powerless Cooking today. Join me and learn how to do a lot of different things. In this learning module, Cooking Salmon, we revert back or refer back to an earlier module where we fillet the salmon and we process it. We canned it, we smoked it, we froze it. So let's look what we've done with our salmon here at Powerless Cooking. This is a whole fillet. We froze it and showed you how to freeze it and take up less space than it does right here. But we grilled this along with some veggies in a uh, balsamic vinaigrette. Okay, over here, utilizing our canned salmon, we made some salmon patties and the smaller version that we call salmon cookies. Dip those in a little bit of tartar sauce. They're great hot, they're great cold. We like to pack them in our lunch on fishing days. Here we have a salmon boil or a fish boil. And we started after we filleted the fish, we kept some fresh chunks of salmon out. And we steamed these along with some other vegetables that were steamed and boiled, topped off with a little bit of garlic butter, salt and pepper. That's a one pot meal that goes great anytime. I know when we bring a fresh salmon or steelhead home, this is the first thing we cook right here. We call them salmon finger steaks. They're cut thin, they're cooked quick on a very high heat for a short period of time. Nothing but salt and pepper. And if you'd like that little dollop of homemade tartar sauce. But continuing, there's a lot more. This was another chunk of salmon off our when we filleted the fish and this is actually a casserole that we call Seafood Delight. Imagine a big chunk of salmon topped with shrimp and crab and cheese, a little dill weed. That's a Sunday dinner for salmon any day of the week. For hors d'oeuvres, watching the football games, we made a smoked salmon dip. You can make that dip in five minutes and we just used a can of our smoked canned salmon for that dip. And we use smoke as a spice and it really carries through in this dip. Here is comfort food here in the Northwest. This is a hearty salmon chowder made with salmon that we caught ourselves and it goes great on those cold winter days when you just want something hearty as a soup and, and that fills the bill. And the center of it all is the smoked salmon in our uh, hors d'oeuvre tray. And so we start with our smoked salmon and in this one we have some of our home pickled beets, pickled okra, our homemade dill pickles, some sharp cheddar cheese, some fancy crackers. Now that can be uh, hors d'oeuvres for a group of people or that can be dinner for two people which my wife Penny and I have done many times. This used to be what we would call a scrabble dinner on a cold winter night when we lived on the South Fork of the Clearwater River. We would play scrabble. We didn't have TV and this was what we call scrabble food and so in our learning modules whether it's all about salmon, how to make sauerkraut, how to make your own sausage, sourdough bread, there's a lot of learning modules that we're going to do. There's some already out there, but you can learn how to do all of this on your own time at your convenience. So join Powerless Cooking today. And remember when it comes to this whole thing about salmon, the toughest part is catching the fish.